Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial on how the gear works and what setups I've been using in my videos. So, for the heavy setup, I've had quite a few questions about this one. Right now, I know a lot of people probably don't have this particular rig unlocked, but I'm using the Express Fishing Pride 6000S 7.5kg reel. The rod is the Siberia Fortuna feeder FD420, the 19.5 kilogram 4.2 meter version of it. And with the line, for the line you don't you don't have to go as light as you'd think. I use the 40 pound uh, Express Fishing Super Braid, 18 kilogram, because it, it's just under the 19.5. So if something's going to break, it will be the line and not the rod. And I've had a few questions about how to not get spooled and honestly the only thing that you can really do to avoid getting spooled if you have a fish on that has a lot of room to run in the lake, the best thing you can do is just follow it around the lake with your, uh, with your character because you can walk while you're uh, reeling in. Alright, so for the, for the, boy, for the uh, ground bait, I use... The semolina, I believe. Let me check it real quick. Yeah, semolina. So I use the semolina, then corn and vanilla. So this is—it's basically the same thing that uh, uh, KP Shimino uses in his videos. It works pretty good. And then you just put that. And when you have this rig equipped, you just equip it here. Then I use a Siberia SHK501 one knot hook. Now, you can use a smaller hook, but there will be a higher chance of losing fish. Even with the one knot, you can still lose them, because, well, honestly, no hook is like a sure, sure shot at landing every single fish. There's always going to be a few that end up breaking off, but the better quality, the higher you go up, the bigger the hook, the less chances of them uh, getting off. So it's just right here, it's fairly cheap, it's only it's only 9 silver for the 1 aught. So it's not, it's not too bad, this is the one I prefer to use. Uh, quite a few people use these up here, they're, they're also really good, I just haven't used them yet because these ones are cheaper and they worked fine for me. So, and then I just use either the red boily. If that isn't working, I'll use the green one or the potato cubes. Some people like corn also. It, it does work pretty good, but you get a lot of other species on there instead of carp, which is why the boilies and the uh, potato cubes are probably the best option if you're targeting large carp. So that's my, my heavy setup. Another thing about being spooled, each of the reels has a different max capacity of line. Like this one right here has 140 meter max capacity, but this one, that's got 142. This one's got 135, and this particular one has like, I think 170. So that could be why I don't get spooled. When, I, when I'm fishing for the larger carp, and other people do, because I know not everybody has this this reel yet. And it, it's not even the best the best reel for this, like, level range. Um, once, once you hit level 16, it's a lot, lot better option to get the, uh, the orange reel. I can't remember the name of it right now. This one right here, the Siberia Saber. It's pretty expensive for the 10 kilogram one. You can go with the 9 kilogram because at location 3, it's only like 611 or 613 credits currently. It could go up or down based off of demand, but right now it's fairly cheap. So I feel like when I get to level 16, I might just get that. I'm, Or I might save for this because it does have an extra 40 meters of uh, line capacity, which helps a lot with the larger fish. Next we got this rig, this rig right here. 
that I use. This one isn't made for like, that big a fish. If you hook, if you were to hook like a seven kilogram carp or bigger on this, it most likely would throw the hook before you ended up landing it. So I just set this one up for cruisions. When you're when you're fishing for the carp, the bigger ones they take quite a bit of time to bite. So you'll you'll probably only get three to five per game day, but they give a ton of experience, so they're worth it. So with this one, I just do bread, because almost almost the only thing that'll bite it is the crusions at this particular location. So I use the 12 hook, number four sinker. 23 pound line, 10.5 kilogram. Rod's strength is 13 kilograms, and the reel is a 7 kilogram one. I can't remember the capacity on this one. This one is a low capacity reel, also. It's only 105 uh, meters, even though it's a 7 kilogram drag. So when you purchase a reel, be sure to check its max line capacity along with the max drag it can reach because those are both important to landing larger fish. Because if you have too low of line capacity, it could spool you. And if you have too low of drag, it'll take a lot longer to land the fish. So now that I've covered the basic like feeder rods that I use, we'll go into the spinning setup that I used in my last video. So I use this, this reel right here. So I've already covered that reel. But this is a 31 kilogram rod. And I noticed that this line that I was using on it was getting worn down extremely fast. I don't know what the reasoning for that was. It might have just been that I'm using too light of a line for that setup. I, I don't know. I'll have to do some more research on that. But it was, it was losing like 0 0.3 health per cast, which is quite a bit. And I have a feeling that if I had hooked something massive, it could have broken without me knowing it if I hadn't have seen how fast it was going down. But yeah, I was using this for that. You could also use the 60 pound for a heavier casting setup. If you have a lighter spinning setup, then just match the line weight with that. I know a lot of people probably have the this rod right here, the 13 kilogram. And with this, just use, you know, a line of like 10 to, probably 10 to 12 and 12 and a half kilogram weight. And then I always use a steel leader because the pike will bite your, when they bite, they will tear the lures off a lot of the time because their teeth are very sharp and they can break the line pretty easily. So with the heavy spin up, spinning setup, I use 22 kilogram steel leader and with the lighter spinning setups, I'd use an 8 kilogram one. And then the lures that I use, this one works great. Uh, this one works real good. These are the two that I've had the most luck on. Were these, this one and the green one. Let me see what else I need to cover. Ah, yeah, I'll show off the location that I use now. Alright, so this is the location that I would start off if you have a lighter setup. The, the location that KP Shimano showed in his video, um, it's a good, it's a really good spot if you want to farm the large carp, the ones that are 5 to 9 kilograms, even above that if you're lucky. But if you have a lighter setup, most of the fish over there, or most of the carp, will end up breaking you or spool you. So if you have a lighter setup, kind of like this one that I've got right here, the 13 kilogram rod with a little bit lower capacity reel, and maybe you don't want to break your tackle, this spot right here, I haven't caught any carp above 6.2 kilograms. The majority of them are around 4 to 5 so the lighter rods will be able to handle these a little better. There's still a chance that they will end up spooling you, but it's a lot less likely. So that's what, for the first setup, I usually use my heavier rod here, but obviously not everybody will have that. 
So what you can do is get this particular rod. It's fairly cheap. It's only like two or three hundred silver. This rail is a little more expensive, so not I know not everybody will be able to get this one. So if if you don't have that one, you can get this reel. It's I think 220 silver, so it's fairly cheap and it's a decent reel for the price. Six kilogram drag, 140 meter uh, line capacity. So I usually do two feeder rods of this particular weight or a little bit higher. Cast them right, right about there, next to the lily pads. Whoops, grabbed the wrong rod. For the other rod, I usually cast it out there. That's where I hook a lot of the bigger carp. But you can, you can honestly cast it pretty much anywhere in front of you and you'll get a fish. But for my third rod, I use just a regular telescopic with bread, size 12 hook, and whatever line goes with it. I use this, this one, the 16.5, because I have a little heavier telescopic than what the default is. The default one is only 4.5, so you'd have to use lighter line. But I just set it to 60 centimeters. Cast it right next to the lily pads. That was a little bit too far, but it works. And you, you get action almost immediately with the crusions. You want to be you want to be fishing for crusion carp along with the regular carp because the bites are few and far between for the larger carp. Uh, as you can see, we already got a little bit of action. But yeah, it's the the bites are very uncommon for the larger carp. You will only get, like I said earlier, two to five a day. So I always have a cup. I always have one rod fishing for the carp and then two rod fishing for crucian carp because in with the float rod they give more experience than if you were catching them with a feeder so the bigger crucians give two or three hundred experience still which is pretty good and you catch the trophies quite often well, that is another thing that I forgot to mention the kind of fishing you're doing affects the amount of experience you get so float rods and I missed him Float rods give you the most experience. Um, then it's spinning rods. They give you second highest experience. And then feeder rods give the lowest amount of experience. But they're also the easiest to use. So it kind of changes based on difficulty. With float being the hardest and feeder being the easiest. So that's how the XP works. There we go. But yeah, it's like this pretty much all day. You'll get bite after bite of cruising carps. See, it's not too bad of experience. I usually drink a beer also to get that bonus XP. It's not a lot of bonus XP, but it's enough. There we go. We got something on rod two. That's actually, that's a big cruising. Is that a tench? Oh, it's a tench, awesome. Tench are pretty good experience when you can catch them, so I try to get them as much as I can, but they don't bite as much as the other species. But anyway, I think that's it for today. I'm going to be uploading some, another actual carp fishing video for some of the larger carp, and once I get to level 16, I'll do a video on that location also. Probably do a trolling, trolling video on... Uh, the level 16 lake. It'll probably be a couple days before I upload my next video though, because I have really poor internet and have to upload overnight. So I can usually only do one video a day. Most of the time I get... Most of the time it takes a couple days to get decent footage. So you can expect a video probably two to three days from now. I might do some Hunter Call of the Wild also. Let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments. 
And also, let me know if you have any more questions about the game. And if I find something else out about it, I'll make a video on that. If anybody has suggestions on what type of tutorial or what type of video you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see everybody in my next video. Peace.